Kyoto is like a magnet of travelers. I'm one among others who came back to Kyoto again to see the spring of Kyoto. So I stayed in Kyoto for three days to visit as many other sites as possible to show you tons of places with cherry blossoms. But let me be honest, I was a little bit overwhelmed by the number of tourists. So after enjoying enough of the festive Kyoto, I also went off the major spots or got up at 5 a.m. to enjoy the quiet environment. After all, I'm glad I went to Kyoto. Kyoto has the power to heal you, and I felt happier and refreshed after visiting some temples and sites. I was reassured that Kyoto is not just a sightseeing capital, it's where you can make a journey of your spirit, no matter where you're from. This is one of the two videos from Kyoto in late March. If you like to see cherry blossoms, this video will probably be useful for the next spring. However, don't worry if you are planning to visit another season. These seven places I introduced today with cherry blossoms are also or even more known for the beautiful autumn leaves. And now these places are covered with beautiful fresh green. Today I'd like to show you the festive spring city of Kyoto and some quiet sites where you can stay away from crowds so that you can spend time in your favorite ways even during busy season. As I arrived in Kyoto from Tokyo, I dropped off the bag at the hotel and walked along the Shirakawa River. On this trip, I stayed at the two Japanese-style ryokans by myself, and that will be my next video. Shirakawa is a river connecting Heian Jingu Shrine to Gion. For me, no matter what season you visit, this is the place I realize the beauty of the Kyoto. The river is hiding behind houses in some parts, but the majority of the parts have a small side street along the river. The first place I visited was Nanzenji Temple. In the garden of Nanzenji Temple, there is an old water bridge. This water is coming from Lake Biwa, going to the little stream by the Tetsugaku no Michi. If you go up the water bridge of Nanzenji, you'll arrive at the top of Keage Incline. Here, you see the canal connecting the water of the Lake Biwa to the city of Kyoto through the several tunnels. The canal is called Biwako Sosui and built in 1890. This place is almost the same height as the Lake Biwa and from here, the water goes through the hydropower plant and some waters go to the bridge of the Nanzenji temple and some goes to the canal near Heian Jingu called Okazaki Sosui, which is 32 meters lower than here. By opening this canal and the first hydropower plant in Japan, Kyoto obtains water and electricity. Keage Incline is the site of the rail that was used to bring the boat from the canal near Heian Jingu. Now Keage Incline is one of the most famous places for the cherry blossoms in Kyoto. Inevitably, famous place is crowded. Now it's time to go to a little off the major site. On the canal of Biako Sosui, they operate a boat tour from this Keage to the other side of the mountain, Otsu, by the Lake Biwa. I don't take boats, but let's follow the boat route as I heard along this canal has lots of cherry blossom spots. From Keage, let's take the Kyoto City Subway Tozai Line, and two stations ahead is Yamashina Station. In the north side of the Yamashina Station, it seems there is a place where you can see the canal. So I walked in the quiet residential area. It's a very peaceful area, and I couldn't believe it's only one station from that busy Kyoto station. In this area, the canal is called Yamashina Sosui.
There aren't many things to look around here, but that is why there aren't many tourists here, and you can enjoy the quiet time of Kyoto. Something good to know here is that the subway from Kyoto city center goes two different directions from Misasaki station. Kyoto city subway continues south, and another one goes directly to Keihan line that ends by Lake Biwa. This is not the Keihan line going to Osaka. There is also JR Yamashina station, which is actually only 5 minutes from JR Kyoto station. Now let's head to the other end of the canal by Lake Biwa. For train fans, it's also a fun place to visit. The subway goes directly into the Keihan line, goes through mountains, and now it became like a tram in the city. I was super excited, and as soon as I arrived at Hamaotsu station, I ran down to the street to take the video of the train going back to Kyoto, and this is what I could take. Later in the day, I realized that I was taking slow motion. But Lake Viva is big enough to embrace my small mistakes. It's not only the big lake in Japan, but also the oldest lake in Japan. It's an ancient lake that exists only 40 or so in the world. Officially, I'm not in Kyoto anymore. I'm in Shiga Prefecture, the capital city of Otsu. And next, I'm taking another train to Miijira. This canal is where they take the water from Lake Viva to bring to Kyoto. By the canal, there is a major temple called Miijira. This is a third spot for the cherry blossom on this trip. Miidera Temple, the official name of Onjoji Temple, is a 1,200 years old temple that spread on the mountain by the Lake Biwa. It's also famous for its autumn leaves. I'm lost for words by how beautiful the temple and cherry blossoms are. You can also overlook Lake Biwa. It's a visitor friendly temple, and their site has lots of information in English about what you can experience there. Even though I was there for more than one hour, I saw only a few foreign visitors, as far as I know, so not many international tourists might come to the other side of the mountain from Kyoto. <laughs> This cherry blossom is amazing, but Miijera is probably nice all around the year. Now let's go back to the center of Kyoto. The river bank of Kamogawa also has lots of people enjoying the breeze of spring. This is Seoul, Kyoto. After dinner, the hotel person told me that the cherry blossom in Gion by Shirakawa is great. So I decided to look for the location. I saw amazing sunset, but this part is not lit up. Let's find where they lit up all the cherry blossoms. I got lost a little bit. But I found it. Wow, so beautiful and looks like it's a popular spot. I felt like I was the only one that didn't know that party was going on. Kyoto is amazing.
and there was an even bigger party around the Yasaka Shrine. The party is exactly the word the hotel person used to describe this area by Maruyama Park. There were so many vendors and people. I felt like I time slipped into my childhood. I'm very happy that uh, people are back to Kyoto like this. It's time to leave this area. So on the way to go back to the hotel, I passed by my favorite temple, Chionin. And I found out that they open at night tonight. So I decided to enter to see the light up of the Chionin temple. There are many groups in Japanese Buddhism, and Chionin is the headquarter of Jodoshu. In Tokyo, Zojoji is the same group. I went up the Sanmon gate that you can overlook the city, but I looked back and saw inside the gate, and I lost the words. 16 dynamic statues gazing in front silently, as if they know everything. They are all national treasures. This is the main building, and I could hear the monk. I saw some foreign tourists too. Most Japanese Buddhism is quite open, and they welcome you no matter where you are from. They don't expect you to be Buddhist or have the same belief, so it might be interesting to take one step forward to enjoy the cultural aspect of the Buddhism. This is just my perception, so of course, it's your choice. This day, I stayed in the Japanese style inn in Higashiyama and got up at 5 a.m. to see the Kiyomizu temple in the morning. And that was probably the best decision I made during this trip. It was waking up early, just because of this sight with cherry blossoms, and even more because I could see this beautiful bird. Something you can only hear when it's quiet is uh, all the birds. I hope you can hear the, all the birds. In this trip, I looked for a quiet time and visit sites of the Kyoto city center, and I also tried to visit some places at late night. And probably the best travel hack during the busy season in Kyoto is waking up early. I came to Kiyomizu Temple at night too, but it was still busy as Kiyomizu Temple is very popular. However, it's really empty in the mornings, as if it was waiting for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you found your favorite ways of spending time in Kyoto. Have a great trip to Kyoto. Have a great week until the next video.